Welcome to the Aluminum Channel. I'm Scott Drake, and today my guest is Doug Richmond, Kaiser Aluminum's Vice President of Engineering and Technology. Uh, Doug is also the recent recipient of the Aluminum Association's highest honor, the Marlin Boltinghouse Award, for his significant contributions to the Aluminum Association and the aluminum industry. Well, Doug, there, there's been a lot of discussion in the news lately about the use of aluminum in automotive applications. First, why are engineers increasing the use of aluminum now, and is this a new phenomenon? Well, Scott, um, there's two really important drivers for automotive engineers considering aluminum today. One is certainly the well-publicized CAFE regulations that are requiring significant improvements in fuel economy over the next 10 to 15 years. But a very important and compelling factor is the voice of the customer today. For the last five or six years, consumers have actually been buying vehicles at much higher fuel economy levels than the CAFE requirements have forced into the marketplace. And the driver there is fuel prices. With increasing fuel prices, consumers are much more sensitive to vehicle fuel economy, and that has become a major factor in the decision to buy a specific vehicle. Doug, up to now, what automotive products have been involved in this conversion to aluminum? Over several years, this fuel price and interest in fuel economy has been steadily increasing. Since 1975, the average aluminum use in automotive applications has gone from about 80 pounds per car to today almost 350 pounds in the average vehicle in North America. Now, one pound of aluminum typically replaces two pounds of ferrous products, steel or iron. So that 350 pound increase in the use of aluminum represents a 350 pound weight savings in the average vehicle in North America today. Now going forward, that rate of increase, which has been about seven pounds per year, every year since 1975, will be increasing steadily over the next five to 10 years, that number will increase to about 15 pounds per year out to 2025. This slide is an illustration of the rate at which aluminum has been used in the automotive industry. Now this is a slide of the average pounds per vehicle in the North American vehicle fleet from 1975 to 2010, which is all history and the forecast out to 2025. Now early in the use of aluminum, aluminum was applied typically to heat exchangers, radiators, tran and transmission oil coolers. That was in the early 70s and mid 70s. By the 80s, the, ev the evolution of aluminum use moved into wheels, basically the road wheels of the vehicle. About in the mid 90s, wheels hit their their market penetration maximum of about 65% and the, and the automotive engineering community began converting engine, major engine castings to aluminum. Engine cylinder heads were the first area and engine blocks later. And by the early 2000s, virtually 100% of the cylinder heads in North American vehicles were aluminum and engine blocks started to penetrate into the marketplace. And in fact, today, engine blocks represent about 85% of the market for engine blocks in North America. Going forward from 2010 on to 2025, the major growth is in the area of body components and body structures, specifically the uh, closure panels, doors, hoods, and trunks, as well as the body structure itself. Those are composed predominantly of aluminum sheet products and aluminum extrusions, with some very important aluminum castings as part of the mix. By 2025, the average vehicle weight in aluminum is expected to be approximately 550 pounds per vehicle. That rep will represent approximately 16% of the average vehicle weight at that time. Engineers over the past Four decades have consistently learned that aluminum alternatives have provided the most cost-effective strategy for achieving fuel economy objectives 
required in the marketplace today and in the future. All right, Doug, thanks again. Well, Scott, thank you very much for inviting us today, and I really appreciate the opportunity to, to actually tell you more about the really exciting things going on in this industry today. It's been a pleasure. You're watching the Aluminum Channel. I'm Scott Drake. Thank <music> you.